welcome. My next guest says he thought his friendship with his bestie of six years was golden until they became roommates. Mm. That's when his bestie started stealing his persona and his money. Mm -hmm. Today he's here to confront his frenemy to see if there's any way to salvage this relationship. Please welcome Brandon to the show. So Brandon, nice Hi, to Brandon. see you. Nice to see so, you too. So why are you here? So basically, our friendship spans the time of about six years. Okay. In college, um, I was cut off financially from my mother because I was acting a fool, right? So I decided to say, well, let's make acting a fool a career, and I became an event host, a rapper, a personality, and everybody knows I'm old. Okay? So I threw events in the state of North Carolina, and that funded my career, and I became kind of like a local celebrity out there. Okay. Um, and, you know, with that, comes imitation. People like the lifestyle. People like, you know, the ba-ba-boom of it all, even though they don't see the hard work that right. goes behind it. Right. That part. Right. right. So um, what ended up happening was, you know, Danny used to come to my events. He uh, was a great supporter and things of that sort until I saw a club flyer that looked almost identical to one of my flyers with his picture on there. Okay? So... You, you see it. Like, you, look at the similarity. Oh, wow, yeah. So I was like, okay, well, interestingly enough, um, you know, I didn't badmouth it. And I don't ever want to discourage somebody for executing something that they want to do. If they can be inspired by me, go after it. Now, they say imitation is the finest form of flattery, honey. Absolutely. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> you know, let's just be honest. Like... When it comes to creative endeavors and things of that sort, yeah. you know, a, a, when an artist births something genuinely from themselves, that is theirs. Be inspired by it to do your own thing. Okay. Um, so he decides, because everybody was saying that, you know, he copied me, he wore the same outfit as I was wearing oh, no! at the bar. Oh, no! Now, let me tell you something, Robert. That's very, very touchy. You don't do stuff like that. Okay. Okay? You hear me? Holla if you hear me. Okay, so, you know, after that, I kind of just stopped. You know, I wasn't really communicating that much anyway. I just, you know, withdrew all the way back, okay? okay. I'm talking about all the way back. Okay? And... What ended up what ended up happening from there was um you know I graduated college and you know I, I left the city where I was a local celebrity to pursue other things. Okay. When I came out here, I got scammed two G's out of a house. Okay. okay? So I go on social media and I say, if if anybody I know is in California, please let me know because I need help. I did not buy a new car and drop three thousand miles out of the way to live on the side of the street. Well, Malibu has nice streets, I might do that. But um, <laughs> Okay. So um, he responded and said, hey, girl, I moved out here two weeks before you did. Come, 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 come live with me. And I was like, okay, great. Yeah, this is a perfect opportunity. Even though we had our stuff in the past, we can mend things and let, let's move right in. So um, the first month, it was good. Everything was golden until um, we get a phone bill together. And when we got the phone bill together, I mean, we're having discrepancies about data usage. Now, you know, I'm like, okay... We are in Wi-Fi, and uh, what, what is, why do I owe you all of this money? I'm not going to pay you all this money. Also, he was assisting me with my creative endeavors. Like, on set, I was doing music videos, and I'm an artist, and uh, I do a lot of music. And he would come and be my PA on a volunteer basis. So, all of a sudden, he's talking about I owe him for that. Like, that's just not, okay. that's not cool. Okay. So, one thing led to another. I come out with the song. I shot a music video. I used him in the music video. And um, there was a ball in North Carolina, yeah. okay? It was a big ordeal that I was coming back home, and I'm going to be participating in this competition or whatever. So now, you were named there, right? So, you're coming home. This is like your home turf, right? Yeah, this is, this is my city. This is what I, you know, I built this community here. I'm coming home, boo. Recognize, okay? And what ended up happening was he, pre he performed at the ball, my song I just came out with before I hit the stage with him. Okay? Wow. So when he did that, I was in the audience and I chose to not perform because I was like, well, girl, I feel you, but I did something a lot worse. After he performed, I went backstage and said, well, you owe me 750 because he won the ball, of course. You know, he's a very talented person. He won the ball with my song. And um, I go backstage and I said, well, girl, you just won $1,500. I need my 750 because you did. Uh, because... So, 
because you did not like. Hold on. Because you did not license the song from me. Like this, you, I own the rights to it. He said, well, you did not license my image when you shot the music video and you making all this money off of my name. And I was like, well, you've been overcharging me for this phone bill. Well, X, Y, and Z. And then, so it's a trickle down. Exactly. Right. I get it. I get you're an entertainer. I get that the song. Totally what did Erica Bobby totally, say? I'm totally an artist and I'm sensitive totally about it. Totally understand my... that. But when you say, but when you say that, you know, People are gonna rip you off. Sorry, they are. That's that's the world of what we it, live in, right? No matter what you are, what you do. Do I agree with it? No, but but we could we could Nick pit all these things that that he owes you owe they, the mm -hmm. video the da, da da da. At the end of the day, I want him to come out here and and uh, tell us his side of the story, right? Because at the end of the day, it's two sides to every story. Danny, come on out here. Uh, Isn't it androgyny? I mean, come on, since we still in looks. Since we still in looks. I mean, since we still in looks. So what's good? So what's good? Hey, honey. So what's good? Are you mad? So what's good? Um, All I could hear was Danny this and Danny that. Danny, Danny. So what's Welcome good? Welcome to the show. I look good. Hi. Ooh, we're handsome. Welcome to the show. Nice. Okay. Can I take so, him home, though? So, Danny, are you <laughs> jealous of, of Brandon or not? <laughs> jealous? <laughs> jealous? Are you serious? I mean, there's no comparison. But there's they're, no but they're comparison. both bosses in their lane. See what uh, I deal with. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, so no, I would never be jealous. Get your paper, boo. I was a 14-year-old boy, and at high, in high school I was bullied all the time, every day, nonstop. And when I saw Boots, it was like, oh, there's somebody there who's just like me. Somebody just like me, somebody who I can identify with. So yes, of course I'm going to stand beside him, but copy, imitate, girl bye. <laughs> girl bye. You Please. obviously like each other. I mean, we have a I, brother, I brother, a brother, brother relationship. Are you going to listen, let me talk for two seconds? Girl this bye. is one thing that I really do admire about anybody that is pursuing something, especially those characters that stand out in society. You know, we are not timid. Well, why would you think you stand out? Robert. <laughs> with that being said, Robert, I feel like... I'm floating with him right it, now. It, I'm just it, it takes it. individuals like us to enlighten the world and to educate the world into diversity. So for that, I, I do love commend that. you. Um, so, I love that. You know, okay. I do do that. Okay. And I thank you for saying that you were inspired by my path, but inspiration and imitation are two different things. Before. Girl, this is imitation. This is imitation. Androgyny is not what I do. That is not my gig. This not. Mm -hmm. That is your gig. My gig is drag, big ass hair, long ponytails. That's my gig. Mm -hmm. That's me. I like the high contour. This, this is so not me. So if you're not gonna imitate, Trump. back in the day, you showed up to the ball wearing the same thing I did, and then to fast forward, That's... you did my song. <laughs> okay. The last okay. Oh. Of oh. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Yes. Okay, now let's talk. Now let's talk about these let's pictures. Let's talk about it. Let's I talk about this picture. picture first. Let's, and let's here you go, pictures. posting this big wig, honey. No. Okay, so this picture right here, everybody, is the very first picture of me in drag, complete in a full face. So no. And you did it in an image of a picture that I posted twenty What hours image prior. of a picture? That is me. Okay. So what? So Danny, what, what happened? What happened at the drag competition? Okay, so this is what happened. Everybody knows that I'm the pettiest person in the world. Yeah. Petty is my man. Petty LaBelle. Okay. I am the pettiest queen of the South. I will give you a run for your money with my mouth. So, Brandon says that you owe him X amount. Say I'm 50 for using my song without the rights and permission to do oh, so. 750. You say oh, what? Oh, God. So you won the money, right, using his song? He won $1,500. I said I won it half. So here's the thing. How much do you think he owes you? From what my records and receipts tell me, it's only $350, and that's overcharges on our cell phone So plan. if you give him $450 back or $400 back, you're even then? No. I right. want $350 on top of that $400. You use my song in its entirety. So man. listen, here we are. You've been friends for a while, right? Of course. If money's going to break up your friendship, then so be it. If the money's gone. He used your song. If, if you can see past that, then you've got to see past him owing you whatever you think. For 700 bucks, you're going to throw away a friendship. <laughs> I'm not finished. I'm not finished. <laughs>
<laughs> you I'm got the wrong question. I'm not finished. That wasn't a question. I'm making a statement. The statement was false. I will cut people off. It's just that easy for me. It is just that easy for me to cut but you then, off and then, have so, nothing so, else to say. Okay, so Danny, cut him off. Well, I mean, that's it then. I have nothing to... It is what it is. All right. As I said... Bye, girl. Bye. See you later. Cool. Adios. And just to let you know, Robert... Adios. Well, it's okay. All right, then. So, on, so I know Danny, Danny. No, no. Okay, so, Danny, yeah. Danny, get off the stage then. Danny, get off the stage then. Well, Robert, I will say this. I don't want things to end in that way. Okay, so and what are we going to do? Well, let's bring him back out here. Go and get him then. Which way he go? There's a method in my madness here. I won't go after chasing. I'm letting him chase him because if he really wants to get rid of the money, then they'll do it together right here. Watch this. Watch this. I get it. I get it. I really want everybody to back up and get away from me. Look. Like, I'm so come serious, on. yo. Come on. Come back. Like, breathe. Keep, keep distance. Breathe. Just breathe. Keep distance. Breathe. As I said, okay. it's way easy for me to cut people off. I don't care. That's how simple it is. I am tired of being attacked for I do love you. We wouldn't be here if I didn't love you, okay? You have inspired me in ways that you will not believe, okay? I'm sad that we have gotten to this point, but at the end of the day, we both stand for something greater than ourselves, okay? We stand for the empowerment of our community. We need to show them that we go through real-life situations like everybody else, and we're mature enough to handle it. That's just my opinion. I'll hug you and back out here and show these people that we're bigger than an argument, we're bigger than money, and... It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Because we're going to get through this. This is why we came here. Because we love each other. This is, we wanted to work it out. I wouldn't have got on that plane if I did. Let's be honest. Because you know I'm scared. We're waiting out here. Come on. We go this way? Yes, come this way. Where is he? I hope he comes here. Oh, he's sorry, he's just putting his mic. His microphone fell off. Hang on. There's a way we handle this in the gay community anyway. <sighs> I, I want you to hold that for a second. Okay. Mm. Okay, I, I, want, I, want, I want you to understand something. I sent you off for a reason. Do you know why I sent you off? Because I wanted him to chase you to fix this. That's some reverse psychology over It is. Uh, did I not say that? So, so. So. You said, you said, you said something really interesting to me there. We have a way to fix this in the gay community. Okay, so, so typically what happens is we don't come to blows. We don't end things in this nature. In the gay community, what we do is we dance it off. We vogue it off. So, are we, Danny, are we okay with dancing off? Or vo what, what, what is it called? I'm dead. Voguing. Voguing. All right, you've never competed against each other, right? So, so I want to know before we dance, that's my rule. Are you now friends? You can dance and you can... I want to know that you... Always and forever. All right, give me some music. Give me some music. You ain't got to tell me. You ain't got to tell me twice. I mean, you ain't got to tell me. I mean, you ain't got to. Open your eyes.
Wow, you got a sound innovation too, look. Sound innovation too. Well, oh. Thank you very much. You had, you, you got a standing ovation. We fixed this. Thank you very much for coming. That was amazing. I've never seen anybody dance in boots with he high heels before. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming. Read. <laughs> really appreciate you sharing your story. Now we're your friends. That's what friends are for, right? Yeah. This is the real deal. I need a Gatorade. Girl, I need Stay a Gatorade. with us. We'll be right back. It's like, you know, our trials can be somebody else's triumph, especially dealing with the Trump-run society now. Right. You need as much wisdom as possible. So I was glad that we were able to be so transparent about what we went through and to come to a conclusion to come to blows. True, because had it not been for Irvine, it's mm -hmm. been over. Mm -hmm. 